you guys doing? It's Seb here. Welcome back to the episode of PES 2016 My Club Hungry for Glory series. We have some highlights of My Club in the background, and I want to talk. What I want to talk about is the gameplay changes after Data Pack 3. Now we all know after every Data Pack, Konami does tweak the online gameplay, not offline, online. Because recently, I mean, PES 2016 won m big awards like Best Sports Game of the Year uh, based on offline. I wish they test the game online when they release it. Online, there's a lot of well, not major problems. It's just people taking advantage of certain things that actually works and is really annoying. But anyway, let's talk about the negative and the positive things that after Data Pack 3 has affected the gameplay. First thing first, I'm going to go a mix of all, basically a mix of all things uh, in no order. Mention it. Now, these are things that I remember when Data Pack 3 came out, people were asking me every um, every minute when I was live streaming, Hey, Seb, what is the, do, you feel the, do you feel the gameplay changes in... in um, after data pack 3 and you guys know me I can't just say hey guys yeah you know I'm not gonna be a wise ass I actually had to play for a week to real to figure out what has been changed and not just my opinion I've been collecting information regarding other people who plays every day I've spoke about you know Massini Pez monster other streamer Noti the Portuguese champion a lot of people there's a lot of people to mention basically so we came into a conclusion that I made some bullet points I've collected information from others the things that I want to mention is First of all, low R2 shots are nerfed big time. So before low R2 shots, like with Robin and Messi, it will like almost 100% goes in. Right now, goalkeepers ca has a better response towards an R2 shot. I'm talking about the low one. If you do it high, it will still go in as good. We all know R2 shots, players who have long range drive card, they will execute R2 shot better. So. First thing, low R2 shots are nerfed down big time. Now, I'm not sure if the low R2 shots nerfed down or the goalkeepers has better response because the keepers saves most of them if you do a low R2 shot. Short passes are nerfed down a little bit. It seems like the ball stops a lot on the grass or goes straight to the opponent's feet. Another thing, guys, the long ground passes, um, you know, when you do a normal uh, ground pass with basically 1-2, which is X and L1, or um, X in one circle, is, has less curve right now. The ball goes very, very lower, and the ball, uh, the ball physique is being changed as well. The left, stick, the left stick dribbling is improved big time. I mean, I'm glad I finally switched to the left stick after being a D-pad user for uh, many years, 10 years actually. It cost me a lot of losses, man, but I simply went, one day I just said, that's me, I'm gonna switch to left stick, and I went online and I never went back. So dribbling with the left stick has improved big time. Um, the square AI pressure improved a lot to the point that is annoying. Um, you know, I mean, we all know when you press square once, the player who's not under your control will pressure the opponent. If you press it once and hold, two players who are not under your control will pressure the opponent. And is very, very OP right now. But at the same time, never abuse the square button. Only do that on the flanks or if there's a mosh pit in your box. AI pressure is more aggressive and now is better with the CB positioning. Um, needs constant adjustment now. That's a problem. I mean, AI pressure is good, but you need constant um, manual position in your CBs. What do I mean by that? Okay. Uh, for example, we all know the basic of method of defending. You know, you basically select a center back and put him into a space. If the opponent's on the ball and you would see a massive gap in your uh, box, you basically manually select that defender and put him in that position. Basically, that's what we do. And to switch to a player manually, you basically just hit R3, hit, hit the right stick towards the defender that you actually want to switch to. Anyway, so overall, I can say that goalkeepers are better with the basic shots. Goalkeepers do save um, basic shots a lot. And that's why I'm going to make a manual shot and advanced shot tutorial. Offside trap. Oh, 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 oh. Offside trap works like a treat, guys. Honestly, I'm always been a big fan of offside trap because sometimes, I mean, uh, long balls, again, we be, get back to the same thing. Sometimes it's just annoying to defend long balls for 90 minutes. If the guy chooses to be a spammer, that's cool. I'm not going to complain. But sometimes it's annoying to defend long balls for 90 minutes. So sometimes against non-smart players. Never offside trap as smart players. So most of the time, if I know the guy is just constantly does careless long balls, I just offside trap him and win the ball back easily. However, keep this in mind. 
if you're gonna do offside trap i have tutorials on a playlist called pest tutorials i made the offside trap tutorials on pest 15 and 14 the button inputs are exactly the same basically if you want to do offside trap you double tap the d-pad towards your opponent's goal now there are two methods how to manage your manage your defensive line whether you want to press it up or you want to push up whether you want to pull your defensive line back or do an offside trap keep this in mind a lot of people never use this that that is really important in pass when to drop your defensive line where to push your defensive line and when to do an offside trap now this this tip is i'm about to give you is really important if your opponent has the ball in the center you can offside trap him but if your opponent has the ball on the flanks then make sure to drop your defensive line to drop your defensive line press and hold the d-pad towards your own goal the longer you press the deeper your defensive line will go so keep in mind opponent in the middle offside trap opponent on the flank drop your defensive line and remember the key thing is guys never overdo the offside trap only do it against um players basically all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna don't offend anyone do not do offside trap against smart people and i'm not gonna mention the other way um lofted wrong uh lofted balls around the box it is basically very op i mean a lot of people like people who play professionally uh for pez league and uh, world finals lofted balls around the box are very very op i mean there's one thing guys i wish they bring pass back because in pass comebacks were never that scripted in pass set pieces with headers were never that scripted in pass air balls were never um that op basically i just won a pass back what it was easy to play but hard to master if you know what i mean so i will have another list uh, my wish list for past 2017 but it's too early to talk about past 2017 uh rebounds oh man do you know what guys i don't i'm not bothered about rebounds it's part of the football it happens but does not matter whether the ball gonna hit the post hit the bar hit your player hit the goalkeeper it could hit anything and it become a rebound the problem is the ball goes right back into your opponent's feet and your players are just looking at him so the rebounds are just scripted there has to be random rebounds like i have never seen the ball base well i'm not going to say never but there's only two percent chances when there's a rebound and my player managed to actually get the ball if you know what i mean anyway so rebounds are still a negative point uh, referees oh man don't even get me started uh, on referees another button setting which we choose is semi assisted and assisted after after data pack 3 I've actually tried assisted uh, cursors change you can do that on your controller setting um, sometime when I get laggy matches I switch to assisted that means the cursor will change automatically between your players but it's really hard to select a player manually if you use assisted so I did give give assisted a um massive amount of times i normally switch to assisted if the guy is long ball spammer like when you play against someone who's a long ball spammer it's really simple guys on my club get a manager with all our defense conservative or at least all our defense if you're playing divisions do the same thing so you can defend um long balls very easily you can defend them tactically you can defend them by changing your cursor into maybe assisted that will help improve a little bit and finally you can actually change your camera into fan view fan view you, so you can see the opponent's players you can see everything one big letdown of course lag cheating is at its finest right now hopefully they will fix that for next year but i doubt it i really hope they do because i've spoken to konami about lag cheating and they said they are in contact with konami japan hq fingers crossed now the second op thing is fake shot whether you do a first time fake shot whether you do full speed fake shot or whether you do a stationary fake shot fake shot is really 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 op same thing in fifa finally they want to talk about guys op lofted passes around the box yeah i think i've mentioned that already anyway guys if there's anything else that i forgot to mention uh comment down below and let us know and tell me what you think about the gameplay after data pack 3 hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button share and subscribe make sure to visit pezuniverse.com if you want to download pez kits manager photos 
etc etc i normally do a giveaway on my live stream uh so far i've given away mario goods a shirt you know morata shirt uh collaborating with the spin bros other streamers i've been giving away full games of best down 16 like about 50 copies i give away um codes that you can download free kids on pets universe so join my live stream guys every thursday friday saturday my new stream schedule will be um on youtube very soon now they are now that we are twitch partner Anyway, guys, till next time, ciao for now.